today, in our gospel lesson, we find Jesus teaching in the temple, which is the place of worship. And while he's teaching, some of the religious leaders ask him a question. They ask him, who gave you the authority to teach? Authority, that's a big word. So I want to see if I can explain what that means to you. So at home, um, do you have any rules? Like, do you have to go to bed at a certain time? Raise your hand if you have to go to bed at a certain time, okay? Do you have any rules maybe about doing your homework before you watch your iPad or something like that, before you watch the screen? Yeah? It's, okay, here's my question. Who decides those things? Your parents, right. So your parents have authority, all right? Now, if your parents go out for a lovely dinner and a movie, do they leave you all by yourself? No. Good. Good answer. All right. So, who takes care of you? Okay, a sitter, maybe your grandparents, right? And now, do you need to listen to what they say? You should, right? Uh huh. I saw those hesitations. Uh huh. So your parents transfer their authority to the sitter or your grandparents, okay? So the religious leaders, that's what they're asking Jesus. Can you just hold on a second, okay? And then what he says, this is the part I love, Jesus does this a lot. He answers their question with a question. And he says, if you can answer my question, I'll answer your question. And of course, the religious leaders have a really hard time coming up with an answer. And they say, we don't know. And Jesus goes, okay, then I'm going to answer the question. But then he goes on to tell a parable, a story that uses something in their everyday lives that they can relate to. So in this case, he's telling a parable about two sons in a vineyard. Does anyone know what a vineyard is? Lorelei. Awesome. It's a place where they grow grapes and people go to pick grapes. So in this parable, a father is asking his two sons to go to work in the vineyard. Now, I'm going to ask the congregation to help me and you'll help me too. So this side of the congregation is going to be the first son, okay? And this side of the congregation is going to be the second son. And your words are up, this, up on the screen. I'm going to be the father, all right? So listen to these words, and you help out this side of the congregation. First son, first son, who will go to work today? No way, no way, I won't go to work today. Second son, second son, will you go to work today? Right away, right away, I will go to work today. Now you have the words, children, okay? Very important. But now we're going to add some actions. How many of you have ever played charades? So how do you play, Mackenzie? Okay, so let me ask you all a question. Right now, show me how you would act out picking grapes in a vineyard. Show me, just show me right there. Ah, so those are the actions that go with working in the vineyard, right? Okay, now we're going to do our little rhyme again. Miss Milagros is going to do the actions of the sons. And I want you to watch carefully her actions when we say the words. You ready? Okay, see if I can get it right. Here we go. First son, first son, will you go to work today? No. <laughs> See what happens next. Second son, second son, will you go to work today? Right away, right away. <laughs> hmm. So did the actions of the son match their words? No. Why is it important? Yeah, you may wake up. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is it important that our actions match our words? Lorelai, why do you think? So you know what you're talking about, right? If somebody tells you one thing and they do something else, you get confused, right? And next time they tell you something, you might not believe them, right? 
Well, so Jesus is telling the religious leaders, hey, you're saying one thing, but you're doing another. You see, we want to do our very best to put our faith into action. We want our words, when we say we love God and we love Jesus, we want people to see that in our actions. So we do our very best to put our faith into action and show people God's love. And we remember that we don't quite get it. God loves us no matter what. Would you please be my echo and let's close with a prayer and I invite you all to join us. <clears throat> Dear Jesus, help us show your love with action. Remind us to do what we say we will do. Help us grow together. And together we say, Amen. And now I invite you to join me for Kids Church or return to your seats with your parents.